Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. So what I've gone and bought myself here is a Tiny SA. Now there's two models of this. There's a Tiny SA and a Tiny SA Ultra. Now I've got the Tiny SA from eBay, around about £46 delivered. Directly I clicked on the list in and bought this unit from a seller. Another one come up from another seller saying I can get the Ultra for the same price. I thought, well, great. It's always a way of eBay. You search and search for stuff, can't find it. When you buy something you want, up comes the Ultra version. Never mind, I've got a tiny SA. Unit itself is around about 9 centimeters long and around about 5.6 centimeters tall. You've got a nice color touch screen there. On the top, you've got your jog wheel, your on off switch, and USB C for charging. You can actually plug this into the computer and have a display up on the computer. I've actually got it running on uh, Linux, which is good. As soon as I found out what Python was needing, I couldn't get it to run first of all. Ran Python through the terminal, then it told me what, what it needed. I downloaded and installed some package, and it worked no problems. On the front here, you've got your SMA connections there. You also get in the box two little caps to fit on the connections there to protect it when it's in the box. We also get two of these patch cables. You get a guitar pick, and also you get a Nintendo DS stylus, which is good, which is what I'm going to be using. And you also get the USB-C cable there to charge it, and you can also use that on the computer. Over here, we've got the scanner, and that's sitting on 4460325. So in this video, what we're going to do is calibrate the unit, and we're also going to send a signal, like a signal generator, from this unit over to this scanner. Because you can use this as a spectrum analyzer and a signal generator. So first things first, we want to screw on the cables. Now I've only had this unit a few days, so I'm still playing around with it. But one thing I did play around with was with the signal generator. Let's turn the unit on. You can see me then, let me zoom in on the unit. And the first things first, we want to do a test, just to make sure that it's going to pass its test. So with the two cables connected, tap on the screen. If you use a nano VNA, then you uh, will find the menus uh, familiar. Just press on config, bottom here, and click on self-test. That's going to run through its self-test, and it should pass them all. Oh, that was a nice pattern. Now, test number 12, it says attenuator waiting. Lovely. It's passed the self-test, and it says touch screen to continue. I'm going to touch the screen. There we go. It's just passed itself test. What we're going to do now is a level calibration. So I press on the screen. Let me just go to mode. We do calibration up or off. And we do it as 30 megs. Look at all that whole monitor stuff coming on there. Let's tap the screen. Go to config and level calibration. You'll see here. You've got calibrate, reset calibration, or back to press on calibrate. There we go, the calibration is complete. Tap on the screen. Now, what we want to do is send a signal out to the scanner. So let me just zoom out. And the scanner, as I said earlier, is currently sitting there on 4460-03125 which I believe is channel 3 on the PMR. Now at the back of the unit, it tells you that we've got 100 kilohertz to 350 megahertz and 240 megs to 960. So if you're gonna use, say, a two meter frequency to inject a signal into, so 100 kilohertz to 350, put it, the antenna into low, and if you're gonna use a like 77 frequency, put the antenna into high. Now you won't be doing no CQ DX on this, you want me to plug it in, and see how far the signal goes. It's probably going to lose signal when I get out of the room. But it'll be interesting to see how far the actual beep does, does go. So I'm going to screw the antenna into a oh, hole there. Zoom in on the screen. What we're going to do now is press on back. Let me just extend the antenna. And we're going to press on mode. And you got to you got return to low in, switch to high in, switch to low out, and switch to high out. So if I press on switch to high out, 
your CD got high output on, uh, on off, your frequency, your level, your modulation, your gain and so on. So you can either use the drug wheel to go up and down or just tap on the little dot there. And we do a 446.03. One, two, five and megahertz. There we go. And what we do now is where it says mod, we can do a three kilohertz signal. And there you can adjust the frequency of the, the hertz and the tone for the signal. Press on back. And we're going to do output on. There we go. Trying to do spectrum loading there. Anyway, there you go. Now we can uh, we, see if we can change the the um, frequency. Let's do I don't know. We'll just do two, so it comes up two two thousand hertz. Cool. Need to get back to what it was. Tap on frequency. Tap that on. Just try 75, see what happens. No, nothing's happening there. So we go back and we just do. And if you do it as none, so mod, none, all it does injects the signal, but you won't hear nothing. So I've had this unit a few days now, and all I've been doing is a little play around with it. And that's something I've learned by watching videos and playing around with it. And I will be using this other device I brought, which is a 40 dB attenuator and hopefully when I learn how to use it I'll be testing how clean the radios are when you do your transmit because nothing worse than having a, a cheap radio but this is great and as you transmit up will come uh, all its harmonics and find out where else you transmit and over it. the band this was about £30 from Amazon now I could have got it probably cheaper from AliExpress but I didn't want to wait I wanted it there and then so I ordered it on the Sunday night about 10 o'clock and it came the next day Anyhow, that was a quick look at the Tiny SA. There is a Tiny SA Ultra that you can get hold of, but I got myself a Tiny SA, and I will be playing around with this a lot more over the next couple of weeks. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that button seems to work too. If you've got one of these, uh, post it in the comments below and tell me how you're getting on with it. There is another signal generator I was looking at, but Amazon went 145 quid for it, and I could, could have got it for like 70 quid or 50 quid from AliExpress, but I didn't want to wait, so I didn't bother buying that one. I've got this one instead. Anyhow, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. This is 2E0 IQJ. 7-3s for now.